Hey, I'm Richard Miller with Goldie Mae, and here's a new feature for Goldie Mae Pro subscribers, a privacy mode for DNA pages. If you are an educator teaching genetic genealogy, you know the standard is to keep the names and faces of living people blurred or privatized while you present. This may mean that you've learned some program where you take screenshots and then you blur the faces while putting them into your slide deck. This may mean you're not able to present live about DNA features. Well now Goldie May can do this for you. Let me show you how this works. You'll come into Goldie May and go into this DNA privacy mode. The feature is the toggle right here. You'll click on the privacy mode and now if you go to ancestry.com slash DNA or just use this button as a convenience, any of those Ancestry DNA pages, or most of them, will be blurred. You'll see that it went blurry for a minute, and as it came into focus, the names are removed and replaced with the word private. The faces are blurred. This is on the home page. If I go into my DNA match list, you'll see the same thing, that big blur, and then it focuses with the names removed. They say private, the faces are blurred. Uh, if I go into, you know, say one of these match pages like this, same thing, right? Private and private, and you see uh, no identifying information. So this lets you teach directly live if you'd like to. You can take screenshots from this with your favorite screenshot program, put them into your slide deck. Now you can give your students the full picture of the way you work in Ancestry DNA pages because they're not just catching bits and pieces from screenshots. Now, there are other options. You can choose to show initials. So if I turn on this, the page will re-blur. It will come back with the initials of the person we're looking at. And uh, we could also even show first name only or last name only. This brings me to the caveats. This works with DNA pages, most DNA pages on Ancestry.com, US English only, more to come. I am working on my heritage DNA support right now. Uh, you can also, you should also test or rehearse before live presentations. The supported pages may change unexpectedly. And also, if you use the first name only feature, followed by in another video, the last name only feature, well then it may be that people can figure out what the, what the full names are, people. So I'll let you use your judgment on which privacy mode you'd like to use. Now, you don't need to keep the Goldie Mae window open while you present. You can just uh, move that off to another monitor or minimize it. And then as you present, all the blurring will work as long as that Goldie Mae window is open somewhere on your computer. One of the very first users of this feature was Diane Southerd, owner at Your DNA Guide. She said, the Goldie Mae blurring feature has allowed me to have a greater impact when I teach as I'm able to show the live DNA match pages without revealing sensitive information. This has enabled me to more fully demonstrate how to use DNA results to enhance family history research and means my students have a more real-time experience. Thanks, Diane. If you'd like to try this out, become a Goldie Mae Pro subscriber either month to month or year to year, or you can visit your nearest Family Search Center to try out this feature for free inside the center. Thank you to all the DNA educators out there helping me and others understand genetic genealogy and best wishes in your teaching. Thanks so much for watching.